Hey YouTube, it's iHacks here. Today I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on how to use function keys on the jailbroken iPad um, with a Bluetooth keyboard. The one I have in this demo today is the Targus Bluetooth keyboard. I found it at a Radio Shack, but I know there's other places you can grab it. That's how you spell it right there. Um, and then the way that we set up the function keys um, is with the activator on the jailbroken settings or I'm sorry on the jailbroken iPad on the settings um, the way I have it set up right now is so that way if I hold the lock button on the keyboard you're gonna see that it's going to open up my pages app so I use this when I'm doing my uh, any of my projects for uh, school and then uh, if you go and you hold the home button equivalent on the keyboard it's going to move over to Safari so that's usually really easy for me to toggle between my research and the stuff I actually want to write down and take away from that research so I'll do it one more time so yeah that's the way I have it set up um, I also have it set up where if you press both the volume buttons um, it'll turn off my Bluetooth which disconnects my keyboard um, let's see if I can get it to do it yep there we go so now of course I have to press the physical buttons on my iPad in order to get it to turn back on so that way I can use my keyboard but anyways the way you get this all set up on your uh, iPad to change them to whatever you'd like maybe you don't need Safari or pages open um, you're going to go ahead and get over to settings and then you're going to want to go to uh, activator which is right down there and then uh, basically you just select I select anywhere and you can uh, preset any of the uh, the buttons that they allow you to touch so I got the um, let's see yeah, the sleep button, short hold on it. You can see that I have it set up for pages. But, uh, you know, you can take that off and just put it to anything that you want. Uh, any of the other apps that you may have, you can set it to those. So it's a sweet little tweak that, um, that I found out uh, to utilize. And I didn't see anybody else have it up on YouTube, so I decided to post this. And then, uh, then one last little tip that I also found out is that if you set the voice over on with a triple home button click like this it gives you this little indicator box right up over there and um, for the longest time I was trying to figure out how to actually select it so that way I could not I, so I don't have to actually touch the screen um, ever and uh, I did find a way to do this after a lot of just fumbling around with the keyboard and basically um, what you have to do is press the up and down arrow key at the same time and let's see if I can get both of them in the shot up and down arrow key at the same exact time and it'll open up whichever app you have, you have it highlighted on and then you can just use the arrow key to get around within the um, within the app that you're actually using so I can just kinda check all that stuff um, just by using the arrow keys so it, uh, once again it's up and down at the same time you press them and it'll uh, it'll open up anything that you have it have it on which is uh, really really cool I was really happy that I found out how to do so yeah but anyways guys thanks for watching and I hope this helped you out